So one of the most fundamental steps to using Automatic One in Stable Diffusion is actually installing the software, which for beginners can be scary. But as I'm about 24 videos into this journey, I figured why not show you from scratch how to install this amazing tool. We'll be covering installation for Windows using both the release package for NVIDIA GPUs and the automatic installation method, following the guide on GitHub so you can see the instructions in real time and hopefully not be afraid of very technical looking instructions. But like the video and let me give it to you bite sized. But what is Automatic One? It's the popular user interface for interacting with Stable Diffusion utilized through your web browser. There are a host of features available and this is one of many different options for using Stable Diffusion with other popular options being Comfy UI and Focus. One of the key benefits which makes Automatic One so popular is the fact that it is entirely censorship free, meaning you can make anything including adult content using this software. This is in contrast to Midjourney and other tools which may have heavy censorship. And installing is super easy, so let's dive into the meat of the video and explore the two Windows installation options available based on their written guidance. I'll have links in the description so you can easily find everything I've utilized. Our first option is installing Automatic One on Windows for NVIDIA GPUs, and this removes the need to install Python in Git as everything is included within the installation file. We'll start by downloading the SD Web UI zip and extracting it to a folder of our choice. I've chosen my internal drive, and to extract a zip file, you will need to use a tool like 7-zip or WinRAR. Once extracted, double click the update.bat file to update the web UI to the latest version and wait until it's finished, then close the window. Then you double click on the run.bat file to launch the web UI, and during the first launch, it will download a large amount of files, which may take a while to finish. After everything has been downloaded and installed correctly, you should see a message saying running on local URL and then the URL ending in 7860 and the web UI should open up automatically or you can manually open it by copying that URL into a web browser. Congratulations, you've just installed Automatic One and you can now begin installing additional models, extensions and generating your images using your computer's processing power. Our second method will suit people not using NVIDIA GPUs and involves installing some prerequisite tools before we can install Automatic One itself. To start, we will need to download Python 3.10.6, not version 3.12.1, which is the latest version, or version 3.10.5. You must download version 3.10.6 as specified, otherwise you may encounter some complications during your installation. Now, when you go to install Python after you've downloaded version 3.10.6, you need to tick the Add Python to Path checkbox. Otherwise, you may encounter errors later on during the installation process. Press Install Now, and the wizard will automatically install the software. Then you can close the window once you reach the final screen, indicating that the setup was successful. The next piece of software we will need is Git, and the latest version will work just fine which at the time of recording is version 2.43.0. Once downloaded, you can specify a location to install the software and then you can hit next on all of the following screens until you reach the install button. Hit install and let the wizard do its thing before finishing the installation. Now that we have Python and Git installed, we can move on to installing Automatic One. And this is done by navigating to the folder where you want to install the software, pressing on the address bar at the top and typing in CMD before hitting enter. This will open up command prompt, which is basically a way of interacting with your computer through written commands rather than buttons on the screen. We will want to use the following command to clone automatic one into our folder, giving us all the files we'll need to get started. And when it finishes downloading the required files, go into your stable diffusion web UI folder and run the web UI user batch file which will then begin downloading the latest version of Automatic One, which again may take a while. Once it downloads, it should open up the Automatic One user interface automatically, or you can enter the URL into your browser to launch it manually and begin installing models, extensions, and creating images. Now you may encounter some problems while trying to install, and while I can't tackle everything you may encounter, I can cover some typical problems, which usually stem from making a mistake, or not understanding how something works. I encourage everyone to use the comment section to troubleshoot problems and share solutions, upvoting the most useful information. The typical problems I see stem from three main areas, 
clicking the command window, not adding Python to path, and downloading the wrong version of Python. Starting with the command window, if you click within the command window while it's downloading files, it will pause all downloads because you've entered something called mark mode. This can cause confusion because you may wonder why the installation hasn't finished after 3 hours of waiting and it may be because you're in this mark mode. To exit the mark mode, click within the command window and press enter and it will exit mark mode, resuming any downloads or processes it was previously running. You can tell you're in mark mode by looking at the title of the window and seeing whether the word select is present, which means you're in mark mode. Moving on to Python, if you do not select add to path option while installing Python, you will encounter an error when trying to launch the web UI user batch file, where it can't launch Python, resulting in an exit code 9009. This can be resolved by uninstalling and reinstalling Python, ensuring you check the add to path checkbox and resuming the installation process. Lastly, if you install the wrong version of Python, let's say the latest version for the sake of example, then you will get an error message when trying to run the web UI user batch file. The error message is quite good, as it tells you that you're running the wrong version and that you need to downgrade, so hopefully, this will just reinforce the fact that you need the version 3.10.6 if you're using the second installation method. But that about covers how to install Automatic One for Stable Diffusion. And hopefully this video has helped you successfully install the software. Drop a like and share with your friends who may also be struggling. And a big thanks to the supporters of the channel. This is Bite Slice Genius and I hope you enjoyed.